Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Kajpal A Learning. In today's video we are going to see some MCQ question based on the topic, Introduction to Human Anatomy, and their related topics. So let's start. Before starting question it's a request that try to solve this question at least once. Question first, what is the study of the structure and shape of the human body called? A. Physiology. B. Anatomy. C. Biology. D. Histology. Answer. B. Anatomy. Explanation. Anatomy is the study of the structure and shape of the human body and its parts. Second. What term refers to the maintenance of a stable internal environment in the body? A. Metabolism. B. Homeostasis. C. Catabolism. D. Anabolism. Answer. B. Homeostasis. Explanation. Homeostasis is the process of maintaining a stable internal environment despite changes in the external environment. Third. Which of the following is not a level of structural organization in the human body? A. Cellular level. B. Tissue level. C. Organ level. D. Molecular level. Answer. D. Molecular level. Explanation. The molecular level is a part of the cellular level of structural organization. Fourth. Which body system is responsible for protecting the body from pathogens and foreign substances? A. Nervous system. B. Immune system. C. Endocrine system. D. Respiratory system. Answer. B. Immune system. Explanation. The immune system is responsible for defending the body against infections and diseases. Fifth. Which basic life process involves the breakdown of complex substances into simpler ones to release energy? A. Metabolism. B. Respiration. C. Digestion. D. Excretion. Answer. A. Metabolism. Explanation. Metabolism involves the chemical reactions that occur in the body to maintain life, including the breakdown of nutrients to release energy. Sixth, what is the smallest living unit of the human body? A. Cell. B. Tissue. C. Organ. D. Organ system. Answer. A. Cell. Explanation. Cells are the basic structural and functional units of life in the human body. Seventh, which of the following terms refers to the study of tissues? A. Histology. B. Cytology. C. Anatomy. D. Physiology. Answer. A. Histology. Explanation. Histology is the study of tissues and their microscopic structure. 8. The heart is an organ of which body system? A. Cardiovascular system. B. Respiratory system. C. Digestive system. D. Nervous system. Answer. A. Cardiovascular system. Explanation. The heart is part of the cardiovascular system, responsible for pumping blood throughout the body. 9. Which directional term means, toward the head? A. Superior. B. Anterior. C. Posterior. D. Inferior. Answer. A. Superior. Explanation. Superior means toward the head upper part of the body. Tenth, what is the study of the function of the human body and its parts called? A. Anatomy. B. Biology. C. Physiology. D. Histology. Answer. C. Physiology. Explanation. Physiology is the study of the functions and processes of the human body and its parts. Eleventh, the liver is part of which body system? A. Respiratory system. B. Digestive system. C. Nervous system. D. Skeletal system. Answer. B. Digestive system. Explanation. The liver plays a crucial role in the digestive system, as it produces bile to aid in digestion. Twelfth. Which of the following is a body cavity that contains the brain? A. Thoracic cavity. B. Abdominal cavity. C. Cranial cavity. D. Pelvic cavity. Answer. C. Cranial cavity. Explanation. The cranial cavity houses the brain and protects it with the skull. Thirteenth. Which system is responsible for gas exchange in the body? A. Endocrine system. B. Digestive system. C. Respiratory system. D. Muscular system. Answer. C. Respiratory system. Explanation. The respiratory system facilitates gas exchange, allowing the body to take in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide. Fourteenth. What is the study of the function of tissues called? A. Histology. B. Cytology. C. Physiology. D. Anatomy. Answer. C. Physiology. Explanation. Physiology deals with the study of the function of various tissues, organs, and systems in the body. Fifteenth. The process of eliminating waste products from the body is known as A. Respiration. B. Digestion. C. Excretion. D. Absorption. Answer. C. Excretion. Explanation. Excretion is the process of removing waste products, such as urine and carbon dioxide, from the body. Sixteenth. Which of the following is an example of a long bone in the human body? A. Vertebra. B. Femur. C. Wrist bone. Carpal. D. Patella. Kneecap. Answer. B. Femur. 
Explanation The female is the longest bone in the human body and is found in the thigh region. 17th Which plane divides the body into equal left and right halves? A. Frontal plane B. Sagittal plane C. Transverse plane D. Horizontal plane Answer B. Sagittal plane Explanation The sagittal plane divides the body into equal left and right halves. 18th the process by which cells take in and utilize nutrients is known as a. Respiration b. Digestion c. Absorption d. Osmosis Answer c. Absorption Explanation Absorption is the process by which cells take in and utilize nutrients from the digestive system. 19th Which of the following is not a type of muscle tissue in the human body? a. Skeletal muscle b. Smooth muscle c. Cardiac muscle d. Connective muscle Answer d. Connective muscle Explanation. There is no muscle tissue called connective muscle. The three types of muscle tissue are skeletal, smooth, and cardiac muscles. 20th. Which body system is responsible for producing hormones that regulate various bodily functions? A. Endocrine system. B. Nervous system. C. Reproductive system. D. Muscular system. Answer. A. Endocrine system. Explanation. The endocrine system produces hormones that regulate various physiological processes in the body. 21st. The main function of red blood cells is to a. Carry oxygen. b. Fight infections. c. Produce hormones. d. Transport nutrients. Answer. A. Carry oxygen. Explanation. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin, which binds to oxygen and transports it to body tissues. 22nd. Which anatomical term means, toward the midline of the body? a. Lateral. b. Medial. c. Distal. d. Proximal. Answer. b. Medial. Explanation. Medial refers to a position or structure closer to the midline of the body or a particular organ. 23rd. The process by which cells release energy from glucose without the need for oxygen is called a. Fermentation b. Photosynthesis c. Respiration d. Oxidation Answer. A. Fermentation Explanation. Fermentation is a form of cellular respiration that occurs in the absence of oxygen and allows cells to generate energy from glucose. 24th. The stomach is part of which body system? A. Cardiovascular system B. Digestive system C. Nervous system D. Endocrine system Answer. B. Digestive system Explanation. The stomach is a vital organ in the digestive system, where the initial digestion of food occurs. 25th. Which body system plays a key role in regulating water balance, electrolytes, and fur in the body? A. Nervous system B. Muscular system C. Respiratory system D. Urinary system. Answer. D. Urinary system. Explanation. The urinary system, which includes the kidneys and urinary tract, is responsible for regulating water balance, electrolytes, and fur in tay. 26th. What is the outermost layer of the skin called? A. Dermis. B. Epidermis. C. Hypodermis. D. Subcutis. Answer. B. Epidermis. Explanation. The epidermis is the outermost layer of the skin, providing a protective barrier against the external environment. 27th. The process of blood cell formation is known as A. Hemostasis B. Hemolysis C. Hematopoiesis D. Hemagglutination Answer. C. Hematopoiesis Explanation. Hematopoiesis is the process of blood cell formation, which occurs primarily in the bone marrow. 28th. Which body system is responsible for regulating body temperature, supporting and protecting organs, and providing a framework for muscle attachment? A. Muscular system B. Skeletal system C. Integumentary system. D. Lymphatic system. Answer. B. Skeletal system. Explanation. The skeletal system performs various functions, including supporting and protecting organs, providing a framework for muscle attachment, and regulating calcium levels. 29th. The process of breaking down food into smaller, absorbable components is called A. Absorption. B. Assimilation. C. Digestion. D. Elimination. Answer. C. Digestion. Explanation. Digestion is the process of breaking down complex food substances into smaller molecules that can be absorbed and used by the body. 30th. Which of the following is a part of the axial skeleton? A. Femur. B. Scapula. C. Sternum. D. Clavicle. Answer. C. Sternum. Explanation. The sternum is a flat bone that forms the front of the ribcage and is part of the axial skeleton. 31st. The central nervous system consists of the A. Brain and spinal cord. B. Brain and peripheral nerves. C. Spinal cord and peripheral nerves. D. Brain, spinal cord, and peripheral nerves. Answer. A. Brain and spinal cord. 
Explanation The central nervous system, CNS, includes the brain and spinal cord, while the peripheral nervous system, PNS, consists of the nerves outside the CNS. 30 second. Which of the following is an example of an involuntary muscle? A. Biceps brachii. B. Rectus abdominis. C. Deltoid. D. Cardiac muscle. Answer. D. Cardiac muscle. Explanation. Cardiac muscle is found in the heart and is an involuntary muscle, meaning it contracts automatically without conscious control. 33rd. The process by which certain cells become specialized for specific functions during embryonic development is called A. Homeostasis. B. Differentiation. C. Integration. D. Regulation. Answer. B. Differentiation. Explanation. Differentiation is the process by which unspecialized cells become specialized to perform specific functions during embryonic development. 34th. The study of the heart and its disorders is known as A. Cardiology. B. Dermatology. C. Endocrinology. D. Gastroenterology. Answer. A. Cardiology. Explanation. Cardiology is the branch of medicine that deals with the study and treatment of heart-related conditions and disorders. 35th. The body's ability to detect and respond to changes in the internal or external environment is known as A. Metabolism. B. Homeostasis. C. Adaptation. D. Sensitivity. Answer. D. Sensitivity. Explanation. Sensitivity refers to the body's capacity to detect and respond to stimuli or changes in its environment. 36th. Which of the following is not an organ of the respiratory system? A. Trachea. B. Lungs. C. Liver. D. Bronchi. Answer. C. Liver. Explanation. The liver is not part of the respiratory system. It is an organ of the digestive system involved in detoxification and metabolism. 37th. The study of the structure of cells is called A. Histology. B. Physiology. C. Cytology. D. Biology. Answer. C. Cytology explanation. Cytology is the study of the structure and function of cells, which are the basic units of life. 38. The human body is made up of approximately how many bones? A. 100. B. 206. C. 300. D. 500. Answer. B. 206. Explanation. The adult human body is composed of approximately 206 bones, which form the skeletal system. 39. The study of the function of the heart and blood vessels is known as A. Cardiology B. Nephrology C. Gastroenterology D. Hematology Answer. A. Cardiology Explanation. Cardiology is the branch of medicine that focuses on the study and treatment of the heart and blood vessels. 40. The muscle that separates the thoracic and abdominal cavities and is crucial for breathing is called the a. Diaphragm. B. Pectoralis. C. Biceps. D. Quadriceps. Answer. A. Diaphragm. Explanation. The diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle that separates the thoracic and abdominal cavities. It plays a vital role in the process of breathing by contracting and relaxing, causing changes in the pressure within the thoracic cavity. 41. The process by which white blood cells engulf and destroy bacteria and other foreign substances is called A. Phagocytosis. B. Hemostasis. C. Osmosis. D. Hematopoiesis. Answer. A. Phagocytosis. Explanation. Phagocytosis is the process by which white blood cells, specifically phagocytes, engulf and destroy bacteria, viruses, and other foreign particles to protect the body against infections. 42. Which of the following structures is not part of the male reproductive system? A. Testes. B. Urethra. C. Ovaries. D. Epididymis. Answer. C. Ovaries. Explanation. Ovaries are part of the female reproductive system, while the other options are structures in the male reproductive system. 43. The part of the neuron that conducts electrical signals away from the cell body is called the A. Dendrite B. Axon C. Synapse D. Myelin sheath Answer. B. Axon Explanation. The axon is a long, slender projection of a neuron that conducts electrical impulses away from the cell body and toward other neurons or target cells. 44. The process of blood clot formation to stop bleeding after an injury is called A. Hemolysis B. Hematopoiesis C. Hemostasis D. Hemagglutination Answer. C. Hemostasis Explanation. Hemostasis is the body's process of forming a blood clot to prevent excessive bleeding when a blood vessel is injured. 45. Which body system is responsible for producing, storing, and maturing blood cells? A. Lymphatic system B. Integumentary system C. Respiratory system. D. Skeletal system. Answer. A. Lymphatic system. Explanation. The lymphatic system is involved in the production, storage, and maturation of certain types of blood cells, such as lymphocytes. 
46. The scientific name for the voice box is A. Larynx B. Pharynx C. Trachea D. Esophagus Answer. A. Larynx Explanation. The larynx, commonly known as the voice box, contains the vocal cords and is responsible for producing sound during speech and singing. 47. Which of the following is not a type of tissue in the human body? A. Connective tissue B. Nervous tissue C. Muscular tissue D. Organ tissue Answer. D. Organ tissue Explanation. Organ tissue is not a specific type of tissue. Instead, organs are composed of different types of tissues working together to perform specific functions. 48. The structure that connects bone to bone in a joint is called A. Ligament B. Tendon C. Cartilage D. Bursa Answer. A. Ligament Explanation. Ligaments are tough, fibrous bands that connect bone to bone in a joint, providing stability and limiting excessive movement. 49. The process by which excess water and waste products are removed from the blood to form urine is called A. Filtration B. Reabsorption C. Secretion D. Excretion Answer. D. Excretion. Explanation. Excretion is the process of removing waste products, including excess water and dissolved substances, from the body, often through the formation of urine in the kidneys. 50. Which of the following body systems is responsible for producing and releasing hormones into the bloodstream to regulate? Various bodily functions. A. Nervous system. B. Endocrine system. C. Cardiovascular system. D. Immune system. Answer. B. Endocrine system. Explanation. The endocrine system is a collection of glands that produce and secrete hormones into the bloodstream. These hormones act as chemical messengers and regulate various processes and functions in the body, including metabolism, growth, and reproduction. Thanks for watching this video.